Hi friends, Andy Vegan. What's better than a nourishing, balancing raw cauliflower rice? Really, one of my favorite food, most favorite foods of all times. I forgot salads, I forgot fruit, I forgot, oh, <laughs> there are so many favorite foods. But cauliflower is really one among them. And yeah, I well, watched just a quarter of raw cauliflower. You see the florets here. And if you have a little bit of the stem here, no problem, you see. That's wonderful. And all can be processed in a food processor with the S plate and in a rice like texture. Here's my food processor. Here's the S plate. Such a versatile tool, the food processor. Oh, my whole cooking changed when I got this finally. I was years into raw food. The easiest way to prepare food, I say for every day, I would say I love cooking also with rice or real rice or noodles or potatoes or beans, all these wonderful things, but I don't eat that every day. I mean, I cook occasionally, but for every day, uh, and the most healthy food, I guess it's fresh and natural and raw. Uh, a little bit maybe you can steam sometimes. Um, and all these things are wonderful. Main thing is plant-based. Has to be plant based. No animals have been harmed, and so that's that's all we need to do. And whole food. So the raw food is very easy. That's why I prefer it so much. And it's one of health benefits, of course. But with the food processor, everything changed because you can, I can do so many things in a short in a short time. Fantastic text, textures here with the with the cauliflower today. I just put it into the food processor for um, maybe three seconds. That's all I need. And have this rice, yeah. And I will refine the flavor a little bit. Call the cauliflower the raw cauliflower. It's very different from the cooked one. Also more balanced than the cooked one. I have cooked one too, but the raw is really balancing. I eat the raw cauliflower, and afterwards I have no food craving anymore. I don't know why. I have to look it up one day. Not so important. The science behind it. <laughs> it's healthy, of course. That I know, and um, it tastes a little bit um, like a raw chard or cabbage is have a little bit of smell uh, uh, in the house when you have a uh, cooking cabbage for example uh, everybody knows that it's a little bit not so nice but and the raw cauliflower has a little bit of that but you can very easily balance it with a, a, a small tricks for example today i put a little bit of cashew in it that gives it a nicer texture makes it a little bit more rice like just some cashews yeah and i begin with the cashews just for a moment because they are a little bit firmer than the cauliflower florets. So I blend a little bit longer. And with the cauliflower, there wouldn't be rice anymore if I blend it together with the, rice, with the cauliflower. So just a moment for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the cashews. And with it enough, yeah, maybe that's enough. And now I put the cauliflower in. And a little bit of salt. That's important that you only have a little, small amount. That's not even a half teaspoon, a third teaspoon, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. If this is a pinch, you can easily overdo it, especially with the cauliflower, to my taste. Um, I won't take too much, but a little bit helps also with that, with that cabbage flavor, that, that typical cabbage flavor. I mean, you don't even need to use salt, or you don't even need to use cashews. You can do it just with the cauliflower, it's perfect. But do you make a little bit of refinement? And it's so easy, just put some cashews in a little bit of salt. Let's see. Now, very only, very short, not even one twist. Half round only, let's see. And then we have the rice-like texture. <coughs> That's <coughs> very important. Not to do too much of dancing here, <laughs> because then the rice has turned into mash. Mashed potatoes is a different recipe. I want a rice today. Textures are so important for the flavor. Also, for the combination of different flavors, textures are crucial. Because with the texture, um, the other flavors from the other ingredients, they, um, they get more um, into connection. When you have the same texture, for example, a similar texture, yeah, I'll show you the rice for a moment. See, that's my rice. It looks pretty much like rice, right? Yeah, it's a problem. It's, it's very nice. And, uh, and if I put some other textures in here now that are similar, then the fact that it is not real rice, but only cauliflower, 
is a little bit confused, so I don't notice so much. I have more of the different sensations from here, from the corn, for example, and from the red bell pepper. They're pretty similar from the texture, so the size is similar. Yeah? So I have more experience of the different ingredients than of um, the texture of the rice now. Yeah? All comes together, I have a lot to um, experience, and forget about that's not rice. I just feel, oh, it's similar to rice. Okay, rice. Finish. Yeah, maybe people even don't notice if you give it to them, they don't know. Maybe they don't even notice that's called a flour rice. It's, it's maybe rice. Yeah, so here, I have corn now, rice, <clears throat> and bell pepper. Yeah. And now, I put avocados in uh, to make it a little bit more, yeah, get a little more fat. Yeah, there's not a lot of fat in here. Yeah. And that is now three main ingredients. Yeah. To the rice, there's the rice, one ingredient, one part. Then there is the main ingredients of corn, avocado, and bell pepper. That's the second part, second main part. And the third part then is a topping. I use a little bit of uh, green um, onions, yeah, spring onions. It goes nice together with um, avocado, with bell pepper also, with the cauliflower and with the corn. All the ingredients are so nice with, the, um, with this um, spring onion. Gives a crunch, yeah. gives a little bit of onion flavor, this um, roundedness, this, this um, little bit hot, yeah. not too much, fresh flavor. So all these ingredients are very, very healthy. Yeah. Uh, together and a lot on their own, they are all very nice. And together we have this wonderful rice now. Very simple and quick, you see. That's my lunch for the day. I'm really looking forward to it. Sometimes I start my day, my eating day. I, before I eat, I do something else. A practice of yoga and meditation and pranayama. All these things I write a lot, <clears throat> working on my books and so. Once I begin eating, sometimes I start with a smoothie, yeah? sometimes with a breakfast like a oatmeal, yeah? or a juice, just only a juice, or I drink a tea or something. And today I really want something hearty, yeah? maybe I had our last days I had a cake or so, I want something hearty, I already had a smoothie the other day with the sweetness in there, so today I want something different, something hearty. That's why I begin today with this, yeah? it feels totally right now. I had no doubt when thinking about what I should eat, I was clear it was something hearty and the cauliflower wasn't still in the fridge. I said, okay, I make a cauliflower, so easy. Ah, and it's bouncing. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and can take something from it. You can also like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe even, MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.